One of the programs that Forsyth County Schools has available for teachers and students is called VoiceThread. And this is a software program that a teacher could actually use to flip their classroom so they could record their presentations using VoiceThread and then post that presentation in It's Learning for the students to watch. So notice here I'm in It's Learning and I have a VoiceThread on the roots of World War I. So the students can just go to that lesson in your course, hit play. Today we're going to look at how the roots of World War I got started and then listen to your lesson. They can just arrow through each of the slides and listen to you as you speak, and you can also annotate on the presentation. So let's look at how you can do this. Within It's Learning, we have linked VoiceThread. So once you log into It's Learning, either click on your More tab, or if you have a Tools and App tab, click there. So I'm going to click More, Tools and Apps. Once the Tools and Apps page loads for you, you will see a link for VoiceThread on that page. So I'm going to click on VoiceThread. Notice a new tab is going to open and it will automatically log you into VoiceThread using your credentials from its learning. Once you're in here and you're ready to create your lesson, just click Create. It's going to ask you to upload media, so I'm going to click on Add Media. And it's going to give me different choices of the type of media that I can put into my VoiceThread presentation. I'm just going to go and get a file from my computer. I'm going to navigate to some presentations that I've made. If you already have a PowerPoint presentation, you can use um, those presentations um, to record. So I'm going to go ahead and add this presentation. It's going to ask you to name it. And it's going to take a little while, but it's going to upload your entire presentation. It's going to put each of the slides individually as its own page. Now you can do this with a flip chart. You can um, save the flip chart as a PDF and upload the PDF. You can do this with just Word documents. Um, you can even just set, put up an image and you can talk about the images. So anything that you want to upload into VoiceThread, just add it um, as the media and then it'll actually load it on this page. So here you see each of my slides coming up from my presentation. Once they're all there and ready to go, I'll go ahead and start recording myself. So here I am step one on Add Media. I'm ready to go ahead and start recording. So I'm going to click on Comment, step two. And then notice at the bottom of the screen, got this little quotation box. If I click on that box, I can make comments on a slide by just typing text, um, by calling it on your phone, by using a microphone, by using a webcam. I'm going to use my microphone, so I'm going to click microphone. I'm going to allow access to my microphone. It's going to connect and find my microphone. And then it should start counting down and letting me know that I'm getting ready to record. So here we go. Hello, today's presentation is on adding and subtracting polynomials. I'll click here and turn the page. We're going to look at some definitions to start the presentation. So obviously you just keep recording yourself. If you want to write or annotate on the presentation at all, I can go here to the pencil. It gives me different colors, so I'm going to choose blue. And I can go up here and I can underline, OK, a mon monomial. Um, I can write examples of a, what a constant is. Now obviously using a mouse is going to be a little bit harder, but you can record this on your whiteboard so you can use a stylus or if you have a tablet you can record that way as well. So I would just continue through my presentation recording my voice, recording my movements. When I'm done I can hit stop recording. Hello, today's presentation is on adding me. and subtracting my presentation. If I like it, I can hit save. If I don't, I can cancel and go back and redo. Um, you can actually record per slide as well. If you don't want to do one big long presentation, you're afraid of that um, amount of time, put it into chunks. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. It's going to try to play it for me, but I'm good. I don't, I don't need to watch myself again or listen to myself again. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the X to exit out. It's going to take me back to my editing mode. And now I'm ready to actually share this presentation. So I'm going to go to step three, share. 
Now there's a whole idea of, of setting up classes and, and sharing the links to the presentations with your classes. I have the step-by-step -step directions for that if you're interested, but it's also really easy to just put this presentation into your It's Learning course. So I'm going to do that here. Um, on the share pop-up here, I'm going to click on the basic tab and then notice there's an embed choice. So I'm going to click embed. You may want to change the window a little bit to make it a little larger. I think I did my one, mine earlier at 650 by 365. Um, it'll automatically change the code. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that embed code. Note it's been copied. So now I'm going to go back to its learning. I'm going to go back to my course. Once I'm in my course, I'm going to go ahead and just add a note. You could add, just like when you um, embed anything, you can add, embed it in a note, in a page, in a discussion, in an assignment. I'm just going to put this on a note. I'm going to call this adding and subtracting polynomials. I'm going to hit the source button. I'm going to paste in that embed code, hit the source button again. I could type directions. I could tell the kids, watch the following video, um, whatever information I want to share with them. Hit save. Go ahead and show the note. And there's my presentation. Kids hit play. Hello, today's presentation, and watch my presentation. Hopefully that helps you create your own voice thread and embed it in its learning.